Today we will be replacing the copper spark plugs with NGK iridiums. I believe these are the right part number, CR9EIX. They, uh, there is no direct interchange if you look them up by uh, application, but uh, I did a lot of research googling forums and everything and a lot of the Polaris vehicles use the same plugs this thing does and a lot of those Polaris vehicles can swap to these. So we will confirm um, visually that they're the same dimensions before I screw them in and run them into the piston or something bad like that. But uh, I'll cover the steps for replacing your spark plugs. Iridiums are great because they're, they're a 100,000 mile spark plug. They, because you have to remove the gas tank and the air box, which means breaking the frame in half, which you, you're gonna see is a lot of work. So putting spark plugs in there that'll never have to change again is a really nice thing. Step one will be to remove the gas tank. Start with the uh, seat, goes pop here and slides out the back. A nice slider here and then just a, a lug here. And uh, I'm gonna try and do this from memory. But uh, we need to pop this rubber piece up. And there are the four bolts that hold the gas tank down. So we're gonna take those off. And there'll be some hoses that we have to remove. Are these 13s? Yes, they are 13 millimeter bolts. Good old metric. lines here. There we go. They just slide right backwards and come off. Now there is a fuel feed line coming out of the tank and power wires. So there's the power wires. go. That was pretty simple. Um, maybe I should just disconnect this end. Yes, this is the end that you want to disconnect. Holy moly. Ten minutes of trying to get it off the tank and it took half a second to get it off this end. Okay, now the tank is free. off. So that's how you remove the gas tank. Disconnect the fuel line over here, not from the bottom of the tank. Now we're going to set this somewhere safe. Luckily I've got carpet on the floor of this garage, so I'll just set it on the carpet. Okay. Now the air box has to come out. This is a factory air box. It's literally sandwiched between these two frame rails. So got these three bolts here and these two bolts back here and the same thing on the other side but first I have to put a jack under the engine because literally it's got a half a frame back here half a frame up here and then the motor in the middle is the bottom part of the frame I'm removing the top part of the frame so the bike will sandwich you know scissor downward 
if I don't put a jack under the engine. So after I get the jack supporting the engine, I can undo these and uh, take the frame rails out. That'll let the air box come out. It's a lot of work. All right, I now have the bike balanced on the jack. It's not real steady, but uh, I'm gonna take my chances, really. All I can say is I'm, uh, I've got the kickstand down in case it falls over that way. If it falls over this way, well, I've got shelving that's gonna catch a little bit, so. Uh, but yeah, let's try not to knock it off the jack. I'm using a different jack than I would normally use because I need a jack that can go up and down smoothly. My standard jack that you may have seen in my previous video that I bol bolted a board to does not go down smoothly. And uh, so I cannot use it on this. I need to be able to adjust the height fine tune. Okay, so these bolts are bigger than 13. Um, These ones seem to be 13, so... They're loose on this side. Sadly, you have to take this off on both sides to get the air box out. Now I have access to the rear spark plug right here, but the front spark plug is buried under the air box. Okay, before I take this off, I see that I've got a zip tie holding some wiring to this rail. I'm definitely going to want to take that off now before I get stuck. There's another zip tie or two down here that I'm going to want to remove. Yep, there's one. These will be easy enough to replace afterwards. Two. Try not to cut your wires. zip ties. Perfect. To get access to the spark plug, we've got to remove this air box. Now that we've got the frame out of the way, 
Um, I just have to get the air box off. It looks like there's just this one uh, band bolt or band strap up here. Okay, it's good and loose now. Nice and flimsy on there. What's the trick to getting it off the air box? Got these two um, PVC hoses, crankcase ventilation hoses or whatever you want to call them. Yeah, there's one of them. No clamp on them, they just kind of friction fit on there. so I don't knock it over. And, uh, so how do I get you off the air box? Instructions would be great. Should probably read the instructions. <clears throat> Should just pull. Oh! taking these out. Maybe it's attached under the air filter. So if we find our answer inside here. Nope, no answer inside here. Okay, I'm gonna have to read the manual, I guess. I'm just gonna have to pry on it. There we go. Don't fear the reefer, just reef on it really, really hard. 
That's what I figured. Jeez, this whole throttle body wiggles, so it really is scary to do that. <laughs> Anyways, now, there's the other spark plug. Now we can do the spark plugs. So we're on what? Step four for changing the spark plugs. First we uh, remove the seat and the gas tank. Then we remove the frame rails with it supporting under there. Then we remove the air box. Now we can change the spark plugs. We got a coil pack here and a coil pack here. These are coil and plug ignitions. Obviously you're not going to get to this one unless you remove the air filter and the, the gas tank and the air filter. This one, just removing the gas tank will get you access to it. So first we're going to pop the wiring off of the coil packs. Um, this grommet can come out, so we're just going to set that aside. Now I've got easy room to pull this uh, coil pack out. I'll unplug this coil pack. Make sure you plug these back in, because boy, you're going to have to go digging if you forget. Um, 8 millimeter. I'm going to tell that plain as day. Okay. I definitely don't want to lose these screws. There. They're distinctive screws, so you'll recognize which ones go back in the spot. Okay. Now, rear coil plug. See, the wiring would be hanging it up right now if I hadn't unplugged it. This is your coil pack. Deep down in that hole is the spark plug. I'll remove the other coil pack. Yes, it did need to go into this cavity to come out. Set it aside. Don't let anything crawl up or fall inside of them. Now, I've got 5 8 inch spark plug tool. I believe that's the size of the spark plugs. Yes, it does fit the spark plugs. So. off by hand. This bike has about 8,000 miles on it now, so it'll be interesting to see how much wear is on the uh, factory copper spark plugs. Those, the factory plugs should be good for up to 50,000, more like 25,000. Um, there we go, came right out. Eh, they're a little rounded, but you know, not bad. Better than I expected, really. Okay, that's into the cavity and down the tube. Now, being really careful not to knock the bike over that's precariously perched on the jack. Good too. Cool. Yeah, a little bit rounded, but you know, not too bad. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, yes. <laughs> good save. Good save. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. That's... There we go. <sighs> now, where are my new spark plugs? Now, new spark plugs. Let's see if I can get a good focal distance on this. Well, there we go. So, we got the big fat electrode in the copper plug, and we got a nice tiny thin wire of electrode in the iridium. Um, but yeah, physically, they are the same. Yes. You can see they are the same. Um, yeah, everything about these looks the same physically. So we are good to stick these in the bike. We'll 
just get that front one. You want to hand thread these all the way in. If you turn it a couple of turns and it gets stuck, don't put a wrench on it and force it the rest of the way in because you're cross threading it. So if you cannot tighten this thing a whole lot of turns by hand before it bottoms, then you're doing it wrong. Stop and start over. Okay, next spark plug. Now, once again, the part number for these spark plugs is CR9EIX. grab the, the ratchet down here rather than up here and you got less leverage you can get a better feel for how much torque you're putting on the plugs and it end up going up here okay we're, at this point they were bottomed out and I'm just doing a little bit of extra turn to, to uh, crush the crush gasket on the spark plug so about a quarter turn is what it seems like so let's turn a little bit more there we go Check this one. So it did not seem to turn as much. Yep, yep, that one's that one turned less. So either way, they're in good now. I'm gonna put the coils back. Make sure it's seated properly. Good. You can just kind of into the hole down the tube. Okay. My seat goes nice and click as it seats onto the spark plug and it doesn't pop itself back out. Now we'll take the two bolts that held them in. I see they've already lost. There they are. Okay. Bolt it back down. Again, I'm going to tighten these by fingers before I put a wrench on it. I'll take them all the way down by fingers. Make sure that these are seated because that's super important. And an eight millimeter socket and my ratchet. You just want these, you know, snug, really gently snug. I'm definitely holding it back by the handle here. No real torque on these. You know, this is plastic you're bolting down. Crack these and you'll be waiting a month and a half for the dealer to order them. And we can guarantee you they're gonna say, oh, these are back ordered a month and a half and you won't be riding for the rest of the summer. Okay, plug the wiring back in, we're good to go. Now, put the airbox back on, you're done with your spark plug change. <clears throat> um, yeah, so next up, let's put the frame rails back. Now, one of these frame rails has a tab right here for the zip tie. It has the spots for the two zip ties that were on this side. Obviously that goes on this side with the ignition switch. Let's go ahead and put these back so I can get this thing off the balancing act that is my uh, uh, jack. There we go. Okay. Got 
to get started. Okay, all of the bolts are tight on the frame, front and rear. Now we can put the gas tank back and we're done. smell like gasoline again. Power connectors back in. Now I've got the fuel line. Oh, come on, stay over here. Oh, come on. Click. In. Make sure I didn't undo that end at all. Yep. sure I put this back in place however this goes